Okay, it's October 29th, 2022, and I'm just noticing a flicker on a video I did at karaoke. A friend of mine was singing, and uh, I noticed there was a very bad flicker where the uh, LED hi-hats meet their uh, wireless uh, video or something, and the outside, the LED, the 5G is very, very powerful, and there's duckbills. LED duck bills all over the place. So uh, I just noticed the flickering. So I wanted you to see this without the sound, the flickering that is occurring. Now there's some kind of a little video thing there and you see the flicker coming in because the blinds are not closed from all the LED uh, lighting in the sky and the chemtrails and duck bills and all of the parking lots and stuff. So. I have the audio off, but basically I wanted you to watch the flicker there. I'm holding it as tightly as I can without moving the camera. So you have me panning around, and then when I get back to that corner, you'll see it start flickering uh, quite a bit against the pole there, against this pole. and. Uh, I'll come back to it in a minute. Just just wanted you to see the difference of a non-obvious glare with the LED hi-hats there. It's a quick flicker. So here we're going to have, again, that quick flicker. If you could see that there on the metal box near the uh, fire uh, extinguisher over there. So that's what I'm showing you is that the glare is so intense it's just flickering from outside from inside and this all does damage to the eye. So who could stand that flickering there so you could kind of see what I'm seeing and how the blue rich x-ray type lighting reflected from the plethora of chemical aerosol spraying sprayed in the sky with metallics to create a screen for fake rainbows and sky art. So here you have a very nice room here and uh, this karaoke uh, club is uh, working on some a lot of people you know, trying out new songs, experimenting with songs they don't know that well. So I just wanted you to see the quick flicker over here as opposed to uh, on non-metal surfaces. And I might go back again next week to see if the flicker at that time of day, we're talking about, this is probably around 2.30 in the afternoon, so you get that flicker there, uh, glare there on the metal. I think you get the idea now. Let's see if that's about it. So if I back to, oh, there it is flickering right there. I don't know if you could see it. Okay, well, that's over. So I guess that's over and out. I just wanted you to see how bad that flicker is. Now, I have received an email with a video of somebody who was measuring the flicker as a and also Dr. Wunsch, W U N S C H, Alexander Wunsch in Europe also has a lot of the flicker charts that he made, and it's really, really not made for anything that lives, anything biological, anything that's alive. This is beyond tolerance levels. There was no safety testing. What they consider a safety test, and I'll show you, is based on a plastic head, mannequin head filled with fluid, with a cell phone to its ear in the 1980s, and that there, I doubt if there were any batteries in that cell phone. The test is laughable, and Judge Wilkins recently in the Supreme Court of Appeals, I believe, stated that it was uh, uh, also... Uh, not scientific. Uh, he said it was, um, well, anyway, I have a cartoon on it, 
and uh, capricious and arbitrary. Those were his words. And I, I, I think that judge is a great judge. That's, that's for sure. You can't base cold science on a mannequin head and make believe it's a live human brain. You just can't do that. Also, they uh, were testing the newly invented microwave ovens in 1951, and Dr. Andrew J. Marino wrote a book about it recently called Going Somewhere, and he says on video he was a, a young scientist at the time, with Dr. Henry Schwann was also on that team, and they uh, tested it on animals, and then they killed the dog and tested the parts, the muscle and the skin, for how to put on the label medium rare steak so that they would have a cooking level, which they then gave to the FDA, uh, uh, got that cooking level for the uh, radar ranges, and then gave it to the FCC, who used it as a safety level. So it's irrelevant. The cooking level is not a safety level. So this is what it boils down to, literally. I'll speak to you later. And uh, it is, uh, um, let's see, it's Saturday, October 29th, uh, 2022. Thank you.